Hi everybody, in today's video, we are going to review uh, the tool called a filler table, which is basically a tool to create conversion oriented, uh, you know, CTAs and comparison tables, especially for WordPress blogs. Uh, and, you know, I've used this for the last couple of months and when I'd purchased a filler table, right, I I had a simple rule, right? Like if it doesn't pay for itself, right, it's not worth adding it, right? So I tried it for a month. I tried it for about two months uh, to see, you know, if I'm actually able to increase more conversions from the traffic, right? And if it's adding to that, it pays for itself and it did. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of a preview of my experience, you know, how... I use a filler table, what I've seen is the pros and cons and, uh, you know, what's the pricing, you know, if they have a special offer, uh, you know, that, that I can share with you towards the end and if it's worth buying, right? So let's kind of jump right into it, right? So if you're somebody who's ever kind of, you know, gone through, you know, reading blog posts and you see something like, oh, you know, this looks like a nice table. That's probably because, you know, they're using a tool like a filler table to create it, right? So a filler table has a simple, uh, like, it's basically, it basically has like this huge library of, you know, different kinds of, uh, you know, conversion oriented, you know, blocks that you can put on your page to increase conversions, right? So for example, you know, a comparison table comparing, you know, different products, right? A product box, which is, you know, what you see in here, right? Which has like this nice animation and, you know, all sorts of things, right? Uh, you know, creating a top three box and, and sharing like, this is our favorite pick, right? You've seen that in a lot of these different review sites. Uh, to create a pros and cons box, uh, to create, you know, a summary box of like, hey, you know, here's a summary of this particular tool. And, you know, we recommend buying it, uh, you know, ratings box and a comparison between two tools, right? A versus box. So it helps you create all of these things. And it's solely created for that. And they, what they claim is that, you know, it's fast. It doesn't make your pages heavy. It, it you know, it, it does, you know, it works on mobile as well as desktop and tab views, uh, tablet views. And it's also supposed to be like visually appealing and, you know, gets people to actually click, right? So I'm just going to kind of give you, uh, uh, you know, preview of, of how I use it, right? So when you kind of log in, so I'm just going to kind of log into my account. Uh, and I'm going to quickly show you some of my favorite ways, right? So by the way, with, with the filler table, right? Um, you know, you can either add these as like a HTML, custom HTML, or you can basically use a WordPress plugin of a filler table and then just put a short code. So it's, it's quite simple to use. Uh, the short code is preferred because it allows you to uh, kind of, how do I say, like make changes at scale, right? So for example, if this table is updated within a filler table and you've used the short code, that basically means that it will be updated across all of the pages wherever this this is, right? So sometimes for a certain product, I'm putting it on multiple articles, right? And uh, I don't want to go onto each one of them and manually update that. And with custom HTML, unfortunately, that is the case, but with a short code, uh, it's different, right? So uh, yeah, I mean, so that's where it is, right? So now as you log in, you basically kind of come in here, right? Now it shows you that there's a WordPress plugin and if let's say you're not using WordPress, uh, you could use, you know, you can basically put the affiliative code on your custom CMS or Webflow or your landing page, whatever works for you, right? So um, it's not just for Word, it's not just for WordPress, it's for other CMSs as well, right? Um, now, let me just show you what each of the tables look, uh, look like, right? So before I do that, here's what your existing tables kind of show up like right so um if i go in here i've created a bunch of product boxes so that's what i, I thought i'd share um so you can see you know i've got you know i've got a code for brain uh, i've got a table for brain fm thirsty affiliates convert kit copy uh, all of these different ones right 
So let's say I want to edit one of them, right? So here's what it um, here's what the editor looks like, right? So you basically got this page where you know you can uh, change the product title, you know you can add you know a button link, you can actually add a second button as well. So it's like by using my affiliate link, by using not my affiliate link, you know I, I don't know something like that. You can also put like a score that hey you know this is a nine out of ten or a eight out of ten or a three out of ten right and then you can basically you know add add an image add you know text and you know customize these buttons right so like this is basically for the for the table and then this is where you can add certain themes right so i have a certain style guide so i need to use specific colors so i basically have uh, like this custom color that is applied across all of my tables but i can change it to any other table as i want to right the glow effect is essentially so right now it's a it's a plain one right but if i click on the uh glow effect right um it basically sorry it it, it basically glows the border up right sorry and for the button also you can glow it but yeah so i mean you know these are things that just immediately kind of get attention that's what you're trying to get to right like you have let's say a thousand visitors or 500 or 5000 visitors coming to a page right you want to convert as you want to get as many of them to click on your blocks right so they have a lot of these um awesome things in there and it doesn't really slow down your site um now within buttons again right you have you can you know uh put a no follow to your links or, or do follow whatever makes sense you can have a glow effect on the buttons as well. Now you'll see what I'm talking about. So, like I said, you know, like a glow effect in here too. Again, I think it's, to, to me, it's a little too much uh, with both these, but if it helps you convert people, why not, right? Um, and then you can have two buttons, you can have a large size button, you can have a small size button. Uh, you can also have, you know, change the, you know, you know, like this is an H3 right now, but if I want to make it, you know, an H1, I could do that as well. Um, you know, I could link to the title. I could not link to the title. I could link to the image, all of those things. I can also add schema to it, right? So if I don't put that because I already have my own set of schemas through that rank math, which is another WordPress plugin. But, you know, if you prefer schema, you can actually do that. You can also set a disclosure, right? That, hey, you know, um, this is an affiliate link and I'll get a commission out of it. You could do that or you could even set up like certain notes, right? Like sometimes an affiliate coupon is only valid for the next seven days, right? So you could put the next seven days by adding a disclosure here and then basically save the settings and it basically gets added in here, right? And even in the editor, you know, you can have like uh, features like feature one, feature two, and then you click on save preview and then you know there you go you can see you start seeing these tech marks right uh, now you can also you know put in your amazon product url right like a, you know you can connect it they have a direct amazon affiliate integration you can do that you can also search for products directly from in here right now you can now i said you can either put a short code you can you know get a CTA code, you can, you know, copy the HTML directly, like all sorts of customizations are possible in how you want to kind of add it to your, uh, to your website, uh, right? And then um, the last thing that I want to show you in this editor is the, how, the, all right, so, and I'll also show you the kind of templates they have, right, within the, product box right so let's just start out by creating a new product box right um so i'm going to create a new one yeah i'm going to select my website right now here are the styles that they have right so they've got this you know they've got like really nice and simple designs that's what i really like like very elegant designs that look that make your pro site look very professional right you can have this you can have this one's for the free users uh you could have you know i don't know our pick in here and and everything about these themes are customizable right 
Um, now let me show you what the pros and cons boxes look like, right? Um, so just to give you a preview, right? Uh, you can have like strengths and weaknesses, all of that. Again, they look really nice overall. Um, that's what I actually love about a fillet table, right? Like I think they have some very uh, elegant designs. Um, so, you know, like you've got all of these different options, you can explore those. Within the comparison table, which is, you know, when you're comparing, let's say two or three software products, right? You can check out some of the templates they have. Um, so this is what it looks like, right? Like what you normally see on review sites. You can also have, you know, your scoring in here. You can also have, uh, you can try a bunch of things, like whatever kind of suits you better. You can also have ratings. You can also have um, like, you know, like ranking and all of those things, right? So that's the comparison table. Now let's look at the top three box. Um, let's say I want to create the top three. Um, this is what it looks like. So, you know, it works really well. You know, let's say if you have an Amazon thing, and you know, you can be like, these are our top three picks. Um, works very well when you're using, you know, when you're creating listicle posts, and you want to kind of promote your top affiliate products. Uh, within one, right, you have lots of customizations in here. This is the ratings box. This actually is schema friendly. Um, so it will show on your search results as well, uh, you know, if you choose to do that, right? So the review box looks like this. Here's our expert score, design, usability, and in, again, completely customizable. It looks really, really nice and can be suited to your style guide. This summary box is actually one of the latest additions to a filler table. I think this was added like maybe a month ago. Um, and so it's kind of like an acc accordion box, right? Which has like rating and uh, pros and cons or like strengths and weaknesses, description, image, everything, right? So it's kind of like a, a summary box, right? So um, that's that. Let's kind of look at the versus um, options. Versus, again, it's more for like comparing between two or three tools, right? So you can be like, out of these two tools, this is our pick. Uh, you know, like really nice uh, creative designs that I can like, happy to pay for. Um, and then, you know, you can have multiple websites, you can categorize them into certain tags and folders, and you can create like your global template and everything, right? So there's all sorts of things, but that is essentially what a filler table does, right? And then it has integrations with Amazon and Genius Link and all of that. Now, let's talk about the pros. What, what do I like about a filler table? I think number one is the designs, like I've said, are very, elegant they look very modern i absolutely love those designs right there are a lot of these table makers out there the free ones paid ones but none of them have such good looking designs right like for example like if you look at this one right this matches exactly my style guide essentially right uh, it has things that would attract a visitor to kind of click onto it and then um, it also kind of uh, provides a lot of attribution, right? So if you go into the WordPress table, right? Uh, sorry, if you go into their WordPress plugin, right? You can basically see the performance of all of the boxes, but you can also see an analytics of like how they're performing, right? So uh, how many clicks am I getting on a particular box? Which page did it come from, right? So for example, someone clicked on my Brain FM uh, product link, and then if I notice, I'll be like, oh, you know, it, it came from my Intel alternatives post, right? So um you know it, it gives you that visibility into like what is driving the clicks right which is quite helpful um and you know like and, and super simple right like they haven't complicated this which is also kind of uh uh yeah like uh you know it, it's it's good for simple users 
Uh, but if you want like real good link visibility, like I don't think you would get that through affiliate table. There are other plugins like Thirsty Affiliates that can give you that kind of vis visibility. But uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it can give you this much. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, uh, you know, like I said, the, the first is like really good, uh, elegant designs. The, then I think the uh, second thing is like, I think the WordPress plugin works great. Um, gives you that kind of link visibility, right? Like what is driving the clicks? Uh, the third thing is I think all of these pages are very, um, um, you know, very uh, like fast loading. Like, so they don't really slow down your pages, right? I've checked it, you know, through GT metrics and Google Page Speed Insights and everything. Uh, they're very in line with the latest SEO practices. So they load super quickly. I've never seen them lag. Uh, they load, they, they, they do, you know, pretty well when you kind of look at them through mobile, right? Like, let me kind of give you a bit of a, a preview. If you want to develop tools, like how it looks like on mobile, right? Um, um, yeah, whenever, whenever I'm recording like a 4K video, right? like it usually things move a little slow, but yeah. So this is what it looks like on mobile, like perfectly done and doesn't slow the site down at all. So I, I really like that bit about it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean like, you know, and then I think the last thing is just, you know, like there's just a lot of customizations in here. You know, you, you can make this clickable, 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 like, um, and they're always adding more designs. And I think like in my personal experience, right, like it definitely added revenue to my existing revenue. So it did pay for itself, right? Like what I was getting through these articles, right? And after adding these you know, uh, these uh, affiliate table, tables into my blog posts, I think, or I know that I had an increase in revenue from these pages. So it definitely paid for itself for sure. Um, now let's talk about the cons, right? Like what, uh, what do I not like about uh, Thirsty, uh, oh, sorry, about affiliate table? Um, I think first of all, like, I think, it's a simple product, right? Like, so, which is great, you know, and everything, but then like, um, you know, like, let's say for example, I want more link click visibility, right? Uh, but like I said, you know, you have uh, just some basic analytics. Like I can't see like which geography, you know, came, you know, like was this user from and, uh, you know, like, you know, like overall link clicks across the site. I think I would have liked that because right now it's a it's a fairly simple tool. That's a good and a bad thing, but like whatever. And then the, I think um, that is majorly like I don't think there's a lot that I can complain about a filler table. Like let me just kind of uh, compare. Like I think the pricing is like slightly on the expensive side for a simple tool like this, right? So for example, I'm paying, you know, what, $100 per website per year, which roughly comes to about, you know, $9 uh, per website per month for unlimited tables and boxes, right? But I'm kind of locked into like a subscription, right? What would have been nice is like a flat fee or like a low lower price for a simple product like this, right? Because, um, you know, there are other tools that do not only the affiliate tables, but other things as well, but they also cost like three times more than uh, what affiliate table does. Um, so I think these are really just two, uh, two of like the cons that I can think about with the affiliate table. Um, and that's it, yeah, I mean like, and you know, like, you know, you can subscribe to the, you know, monthly plan, but like, I think during Black Friday days, they give like a good discount. So you can kind of wait for it. Um, and so, yeah, I mean like, and by the way, just FYI, like I tried their basic version. I mean, it's decent, but like there's a limit of hundred tables. Uh, the number of templates you have available uh, are like very limited and you know they're, they're okay. Like they're decent, but they're, you're missing out on the premium templates and you don't get the Amazon integrations and everything. So 
that kind of sucks so i would definitely tell you to like go for pro um and like overall like would i say worth it like absolutely man like i mean for nine dollars per website per month like i was able to increase the you know my affiliate revenue for a very low traffic site you know from like you know like i increased two hundred dollars per website per month just by adding a filler table and this is for a website that gets like two thousand visitors a month right so that matters a lot so if you're a conversion focused blogger who just you know who has a lot of conversion content you want to get more out of it a filler table is a great buy and it's absolutely worth the cost uh and uh and it's a it's a great mature tool and i highly recommend it um if this review was helpful please consider buying through my link in the description below uh this basically you know allows me like it gives me a cut uh like an affiliate commission for you you know at no additional cost to you uh but it helps support me creating more of these videos to help you out uh, so you know if you want to support my mission please consider buying uh through my link in the youtube description and just like you know with all my videos please like share subscribe if you enjoyed my video and i wish you a wonderful day ahead take care